Laptop keyboard not working. 4 tips to fix it. Tapping away on your keyboard expecting to see text on the screen. But only seeing some of the characters. Or worse. None of them. Without a working keyboard. Your computer is useless. For laptop computers. This is a big problem as you can't simply swap the keyboard like you can with a desktop PC. Computer maintenance should be a habit. But problems can still rear their ugly head. If your laptop keyboard has stopped working, here's what you need to know and how to fix it. Typically, there are five reasons why your laptop keyboard has stopped working. Each reason has its own fix. Bad connection, in some cases. Your laptop can be opened and the keyboard reconnected. There is a chance that the keyboard is defective, so a replacement will need to be sourced. Wrong regional settings, some characters don't work because the keyboard settings are set to use the wrong region or language. As you may have noticed, two of these problems are easily resolved, whereas the other two require a bit more work. To complicate matters further, any repair action that requires you to open your laptop will differ depending on the manufacturer. It may even differ between models from the same manufacturer. Do this by clicking start and entering the device manager. The device manager icon will appear in the results. So click this. Browse the list of devices until you see keyboards. Then expand the list. Right click the keyboard device, usually standard PS2 keyboard, and select properties greater than driver. Here, click update driver and wait while Windows finds a new driver and installs it. Test the keyboard with a word processor or perhaps the Windows Notepad app, with any luck. It should now work. This time, select Uninstall Device and wait for the driver to be removed. Once done, you should reboot Windows, and wait while the driver is reinstalled. However, you can also use Action Greater Than Scan for hardware changes to prompt Windows to install the driver. Note that there is also a rollback driver option. This will be grayed out at most times, unless a new driver has been installed possibly as part of a Windows update. If this option is available, and your keyboard has only recently stopped working, click Rollback Driver and wait for the new driver. Cleaning a standard keyboard is not easy, cleaning a laptop keyboard is even tougher. Keyboards require a certain amount of physical interaction to loosen dirt, and while this is generally simple to achieve with a USB or wireless keyboard, things are different on a laptop. Basically, you cannot easily shake and tap the back of a laptop without risking damage to the entire unit. However, you can dislodge dust and debris from a laptop keyboard by first shutting the device down, then turning it upside down and gently tapping on the base. You should then run your fingers across all the keys while the device is upside down. To remove any remaining dirt, be sure to clean up any fallen dirt from the table when you're done. If there is dirt you cannot remove, a can of compressed air can be used at this point, or you might rely on some keyboard cleaning putty instead. Note that cleaning cannot repair any deep-seated faults, but it will help if dirt is preventing one or more keys from working properly. Keyboard dirty and unresponsive. Keys getting sticky. Here's how to clean the keyboard on your laptop or desktop PC. If the keyboard is physically damaged or has become disconnected from the motherboard perhaps due to a shock. Then you'll need to put some time aside to remove the component from your laptop and either reseat the connection or replace the keyboard altogether. Different manufacturers build their laptops in a variety of ways, which means it's difficult to specify a single fix. However, opening different laptops from the same manufacturer is generally the same. This makes swapping the keyboard, or simply reseating the cable connection, a lot easier. Note that laptop keyboards are typically sealed units, so while it might be possible to give the keyboards a better clean when it's removed from the laptop, you won't be able to easily check the internal workings. Once a keyboard is removed, you will be able to check its serial number. Enter this into the search box on eBay to see if it's available to buy. They usually are, but buying a replacement laptop keyboard can be expensive. In this video, you will see how to unclip a Dell Inspiron keyboard using a pair of plastic opening tools. Once the keyboard is successfully unclipped, you should see the ribbon cable and where it connects to the motherboard. 
Toshiba laptop keyboards are a lot tougher to detach from the chassis. The underside of the laptop needs removing, which means taking care with all the screws and checking the cable. There is a good chance that this might not be something you don't want to do. However, follow the steps carefully and you'll find the keyboard can be replaced. HP laptops are trickier when it comes to removing the keyboard. It depends on which model you use. Fortunately, the more popular models such as the Pavilion have a simple method for keyboard removal. Higher-end HP laptops are more complicated. However, look at this as a combination of the Dell and Toshiba approaches. A single screw must be removed from the underside, then unclipped from the chassis, similar to the Dell laptop. If you're having difficulty with a specific keyboard keys not working, it could be due to your language settings. After you've established that the problem isn't hardware, this is the first thing to check. To check, open a text editor and press the key in question. Is there any output? If it's the wrong symbol, then the problem is almost certainly related to language settings. Different regions use different keyboard layouts. Based on how characters are used, you'll need to reconfigure your regional settings to match your keyboard. In Windows 10 do this by pressing Windows plus I and selecting time and language greater than region and language. Here, click add a language and choose the correct option for your keyboard. Click next then install and wait a moment while the language is installed. In the region and language screen, use the languages drop down menu to select the new language. A laptop without a working keyboard might seem like a massive block to productivity. But it is possible to repair. This might involve some simple hardware and software maintenance. Or it might require some hands-on repairs with your laptops and sides. If you can't get any joy with any of these fixes, all is not lost. If your laptop is under warranty, or you know of a reputable repair shop, you should be able to get the device repaired with the minimum of effort. Meanwhile, a Bluetooth or USB keyboard can be used as a short-term substitute. And you can also fall back in the Windows 10 on-screen keyboard. If you've got a touch-screen computer, you can type inside Windows using a touch keyboard, no hardware required. Text source, makeuseof.com.